Hey, what's going on, man? It's your boy Rex. Here we go. First product review. PDP gaming headsets. Um, personally, I use these to DJ with. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't quite gamed with them yet. I haven't been on Xbox um, in a while. So what I'm going to do with this review is I'm going to say some pros. I'm going to say some cons, you know, some things that come with it. Um, first, let's start with the pros. The sound quality is really awesome. Um, 50 millimeter drivers. Um, that's actually bigger than the Beats. I mean, of course, you know, that's sounding, you know, bigger is an old, yeah, bigger is better, bump that. But the actual, everything, the sound quality, the bass, the trouble, I mean, everything with these headsets is pretty clear. I mean, right now that's got them on, this is just the lighting effect that comes with them. You can have them, actually, they come in two colors currently, the wireless ones, the blue and the green. Okay, next is the look. Um, I DJ with these blue ones about two or three times and they instantly catches people eye. Everybody's like, Hey, where did you get those? They're futuristic. They look like Tron. Hey, everybody loves them when they see them. Next, the customer service. I have to give the customer service a big shout out. When, um, I had two blues, I was able to get another green one. One of the blues went out. It wouldn't cut on, nothing wouldn't work with it. A whole week later, they sent me an email, they sent me out the green ones I requested, everything else, got it in a nice timely manner, took about a week, got everything back. Next, the noise cancellation. On these, if you can see, the cups is real big. We see how much of my finger goes into them. Um, I mean, I'm able to put them on and I'm seriously like when I'm DJing, I don't hear nothing but the music. So the noise counseling on them is pretty awesome um, to hook them up. You use this. You plug this in to USB, you plug it into your computer. Um, I use this USB charger right here. And it actually use it and I can use it wirelessly because one of the downfalls of this headset is you can not hook it up to your phone via Bluetooth. You have to use the Bluetooth adapter or you have to use one of the wires with the head jack in it. Um, next, this is just a little small gripe I may have. I really don't like the USB charger port. If you can see, it's like the small, I mean the big charger port from the old cell phones back in the day. I feel personally that they could have used the mini that comes with a lot of the Samsungs and the the newer phones that's out there. And um for me, I believe the LEDs could be brighter, even though it's in the light right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off. Give me one minute. All right, and I'm back. Hey, got to love video editing. Like I said, everything looks real good. I don't know. I guess that's for my taste. I feel this could have been a lot brighter. I know brighter LEDs that are out on the market. But um, pretty much satisfied with everything. Like I said, the customer service, the price. These are just the same headphones as Beats. I don't care what nobody says. I listen to Beats and I listen to these. These are $89. Beats are 200 not bashing them but i noticed even a homeboy mine we couldn't really tell the difference but um like i said it's worth it i haven't done the gaming part of it maybe i do the gaming review but this is just a plain old audio review um after that's pretty much i can say about them i'm pretty happy with them i'm a dj with them for the rest of my term dj and i love them um as you see i got uh beach street playing in the background chilling but hey Everybody have a wonderful weekend. Salute the DJ. I'm out.